Well, here's a nice little shot. Town of Telluride, nestled down in the box canyon here. Sounds like Aspen that I don't think they have a bad side of town. I think it's all houses I can't afford for 500, Alex. But if you like to do some shopping, there's some shopping down here. Is that a TW? That is a TW. Look at that. One of the most underrated motorcycles out there. Ryan just bought one of those. I think if I had one of those other than this, I would be probably perfectly happy. So here's some of the residential places. in the bunch. Seems like somebody's already came and fixed them all up. Cool old building, I don't know what it is. Take a buzz up to Bridal Bale. I'll catch you up there. That's Bridal Bale Falls. We're gonna get way up there though. This is actually Black Bear Pass, but I'm coming up from Telluride, which is kind of like going backwards. But you can you can go this way up to Bridal Bale Falls. Something else uh, the tour guide told me that I was not aware of is that Black Bear Pass is open. But he owns a motorcycle and he says he would not, he's done Black Bear, he would not do it again. He said there's so many spots in the switchbacks where you're coming down a hill and you have to make that turn and the turn is off camber towards the cliff side and it's gravel and he said he actually had to lay his bike down one time to keep from sliding over the edge of the gravel. Well, you know, I don't have no death wish. I'm having an awful lot of fun doing this. So maybe I need to not do Black Bear and just be happy. I mean, I've done some pretty dang cool trails out here. So we'll ride right up here to Bridal Veil Falls and we'll go from there. Uh -oh. Another water crossing. 
Nice clear water. I like it. I like it. Obviously, SUVs can go up this, so it's not. Well, hey, sure, but tour buses went to the top of Imogy Pass. So I guess maybe it's not so much the equipment, maybe it's the operator. I'm still pretty proud of myself of what I've done. This must be the spot. Oh yeah. Pretty impressive, pretty impressive. Well, according to this sign, we are here. And we can technically go up to here before it turns into the one, one way down trail. I say, that we're here. What is it? It's only a zig and a zag and a zig and a zag. I think we should go there. All right. And we're off. My SD card is full. I brought two other SD cards with me and they both are showing an error. So I got just a little bit more time left on this card. Um, I'm going to, uh, after I get done here, I'm going to go up to the top of the falls and after I get done here, I'm going to go down to Telluride and see if I can buy another card. But this may be the end of the video for this day. I have no way to unload this video. So we'll see what happens. Well, this is as high up as I can go. This is one way only the rest of the way up. So I'm going to head back down to Telluride, see if I can find a uh, SD card. And uh, time to head over to Last Dollar Road. And then the long trip back to the van. Sure is beautiful here though. I don't know if it's coming through, but you just gotta come here and see it. That's all there is to it. Well, I'm here on Last Dollar Road, and somewhere there's supposed to be the meadow in the uh, movie True Grit, where John Wayne faces off against the four other guys, and calls John Wayne that's pretty bold talk for a one-eyed fat man and they take off across this meadow but you can see that little pinnacle in the background there and that's in the movie so I don't know it's got to be somewhere in this area somewhere well my search for a memory card in Telluride was a bust so uh, there'll be no uh, extra footage I got about 10 minutes left on this card This is kind of cool. Little rock slide area. Boy, these aspens, though, man. You just right down in them. That's really cool. Too interesting. We don't want to have to go to snorkel mode. I suppose after rain that could be a lot more interesting. Yeah, first 
first I thought this was just going to be a, a boring gravel road drive with some nice views, but it actually had some pretty decent sections in here. They're buried in aspen trees, you can't complain too much about that. Oh wow, that's a view. Can't see it for the trees. Look at that. That's not half bad. Well, I made it through last dollar. Turned into gravel for a last little bit there. But not bad. It was definitely a worth, worthwhile drive. Uh, now by the GPS, looks like I got about 27 miles of blacktop to get back to Ure to pick up Vanna. So, we'll catch you guys back there. Back down to Vanna. There she is, safe and sound. <sighs> Those are some angry clouds up there where we were. Oh, I'm glad I'm not up there now. That would be some nastiness to deal with. But had another great ride. I guess that's just what you have to do. You just have to come out in the morning and the storms all happen in the afternoon. So you just pace yourself. Make sure you get through the hard stuff before anything's going to happen. I got spit on a little bit on my way back. Nothing major. Nothing to, nothing to even get me wet. But, wow. What a great ride today. Another one. <laughs> it's becoming a habit. I'm going to be spoiled. Catch you guys later.